Do you think parasites are connected with a lot of the diseases we have today? Um, no. I think it exists. I don't think it's a big problem. Are you interested in knowing what parasites do to you? Probably, I mean, yeah. Probably not for me. <laughs> I'll be honest, it doesn't really interest me. There's tons of people that have parasites and don't even know it. It's a big, very big issue. At the beginning, I didn't believe that I had parasites. People need to cleanse more often. I did. I had parasites. That was nasty thing. I was really shocked when I found out that this is something that affects every single living human, in fact, every single living organism on the face of the earth. I experienced uh, parasites coming out of my body uh, about three, four, five times. You could be leading a healthy lifestyle. You could be jogging, eating raw food, taking vitamins and all those kind of things, but these guys don't care. These guys are persistent. They're dangerous. They're deadly. They've been around for millions of years. They know what they're doing, and they're in side of all of us and we're constantly being exposed to this. There's definitely a problem with it. There's a war going on and it's going on inside every one of us and this is something that we all need to take very seriously. This is not science fiction. This is scary, it's real, and it's serious. Monsters living inside us, they eat our bodies and control our emotions, urges, and thoughts. A Discover Magazine feature article said that every living thing is at least one parasite that lives inside of it and humans have far more. This silent issue is so important, former President Jimmy Carter is putting intensive efforts into increasing global awareness of this serious issue. As a colon hydrotherapist for approximately 20, 21 years now, you wouldn't believe what I see coming out of people's bodies. This is not just a third world country thing. Everybody has them. Even normal people with lots of money living in suburbia who take showers three times a day. If you eat sushi, you have parasites. One square inch of raw sushi meat can contain 10,000 parasite larvae and eggs that begin hatching inside you the minute you eat it. The most common kind is tapeworms, which can grow to 60 feet long and live in your intestines for decades. When I have clients that absolutely love sushi, I find that they have an inordinate amount of that particular uh, problem, of like clusters of parasites. If you have pets, you are guaranteed to have parasites. It doesn't matter if you're vegetarian, raw foodist, vegan, or macrobiotic. Even the healthiest and richest people on earth have parasites. You can't kill them all, only control them, because our bodies have trillions of cells which rely on helpful bacteria like probiotics to work right. If we kill all the organisms in our body, we kill ourselves. The secret is to keep the bad guys to a minimum. Make our bodies so healthy and clean, the undesirable guests won't want to stick around. Don't feed them the junk food they love. Sweet stuff, bread, alcohol, rice, pasta, milk, cookies, crackers, cereal, meat, cheese, cooked foods, refined carbohydrates, soft drinks, commercial fruit juices, junk foods. They love the food you love and hate the food you hate. Even letting yourself become run down energetically allows them to get stronger. So who's winning, you or them? There are hundreds of thousands of types of parasites, ranging from huge worms to the single-celled amoebas that can cross the blood-brain barrier and begin digesting your brain and other organs like your liver, heart, and kidneys. They are silent. They move very slowly so you don't feel them or know they are there. That's how they want it. If you don't know they're there, then you won't do anything about it. They are smart. Parasites are living alien creatures who live off of others. They eat your food. They poop their waste inside you, making your blood, lymph, and tissues toxic. We are living in their sewage. Did you know one-third of your your poop isn't even yours? It's waste that's been pooped out by parasites. You think you're clean? Think again. Everyone has parasites. They're everywhere. It's almost impossible not to come in contact with them. They are in the air. You can breathe them in. A single handshake can transfer over half a million organisms. Anything other people touch, shopping carts, door handles, toilet seats, doorknobs, signature pens, daycare centers, diaper changes, and pets, which pick up tiny unseen organisms from the ground they walk on, carpeting, grass, dirt, lawns, especially grass and lawns that have been used for defecating. Animals lick their butt and then lick their fur, and then you pet that fur, absorbing parasites directly into your skin, while others wait for you to put your hand near your face, where they enter through the nose, mouth, and eyes. They eat your food and use your body as a breeding ground sucking you drive nutrition energy and life force some worms can lay millions of eggs a day if you break apart a tapeworm the broken part can regrow into another worm common signs of parasites are you're tired a lot sleeping problems constant itching weakness headaches lack of appetite or hungry all the time especially for sweet foods and carbs flu-like symptoms depression skin problems acne arthritis joint pains eczema dermatitis sinus problems breathing and lung problems like pneumonia then uncontrollable coughing lumps under the skin cysts diarrhea and constipation sometimes alternating back and forth mucus in your stool irritable bowel syndrome stomach aches cramps digestion problems nausea overly 
dry lips, vision and eye problems, gas, bloating. Parasites can burrow into your brain and cause nerve damage and eye problems. They can multiply so much in your gut what you think is fat may in fact be entire nests of parasites. They can clog up your digestive tract so much no food can get through making you constipated. They love to live in your stomach and intestines because that's where all the food goes and you feed them every day. As a matter of fact, it's said that almost every health condition known can be connected with parasites in some way. I've seen actual tapeworms come out of a person. It looked like flat long spaghetti strands two of them a 40 foot tapeworm can have three to four thousand segments each one of which can grow into its own piece it can lay over one million eggs a day if you are skinny and have trouble gaining weight or have ever had a dog lick your face if you have abdominal cramping or appendix pains or liver gallbladder pancreas issues or lung problems you might very well be host to one or more huge tapeworms pinworms if you have sleeping problems itchy butt joint pain or female problems those are common pinworm symptoms whipworms are a type of roundworm that secretes a digestive fluid that liquefies your colon wall so they can eat it. Over one billion people have whipworms. Roundworms look like fat spaghetti and are one of the most common human infections. One roundworm can lay two million eggs per day and they can live for years. They hatch in your colon, then penetrate the intestinal wall, enter the bloodstream and lymph system, and then make their way to the liver, heart, and eventually the lungs where they grow to two inches long, pass through the air sacs, into the throat, causing uncontrollable coughing where they are swallowed so they can go back down in the intestines where they lay more eggs and start the whole thing all over again. Roundworms cause pneumonia-like symptoms, breathing problems, chest tightness, asthma, heart problems, fluid retention, mucus in the lungs, nagging cough, digestive problems, stomach pains, cramping, nausea, bloating, malnutrition, protruding stomach, and intestinal blockages. Sushi is one of the major sources of tapeworms which can grow to over 50 feet long in your intestines. Walking barefoot is a good way to pick them up, not just in dirt and grass or in the house of pets, but also the beach. Hookworms. Remember the movie Alien? Hookworms have four sets of teeth so they can eat your intestinal walls and suck your blood. People with hookworms lose a lot of blood and don't even know it. Parasites can penetrate the placenta in a pregnant woman and enter the baby. They can even be passed through breast milk. Parasites can even contribute to infertility and childbirth difficulties. If a child is born, it can have retarded mental and physical abilities. People with parasites are never living life to its fullest capacity because they are sucked dry of energy, minerals, nutrition. They are tired all the time, depressed, and barely alive. All of their life force goes to the parasites. We're all subject to this. Like it or not, it's a fact. Tests done at funeral homes show that 97% of the body fluids in people were totally consumed with parasites and worms. Scientists are just beginning to discover exactly how powerful and disturbing these hidden monsters can be. Our cells are controlled by chemical signals. Parasites emit a chemical that directly affects our behavior, thoughts, decisions, and urges. Think about that. Something inside us that's not us, causing us to make unsafe decisions so we eat, drink, and do things that benefit the parasite, including physical contact with other people so the parasite can spread. Why do we eat foods and do things we know are bad for us? Why is this so hard to resist? They look like snakes. Even the book of these scenes refers to the parasite as Satan, the serpent living inside us, tempting us, ruining our health, breaking apart our relationships and ruining our lives. Throughout all of history, they've been warning us. Think about it. From the very beginning, Adam and Eve were tempted by the serpent. What's really creepy is the thought there's a serpent within each of us, tempting us to do things we really shouldn't. In this engraving from the 1500s, we can see Adam and Eve feeding the serpent, the parasite. To many, true health and being in a loving monogamous relationship is paradise, and feeding the serpent exiles you from paradise. Everything is more connected than you think. What you eat, who and what you touch, your health, your moods, your relationships, everything. What can you do about it? Start by doing the right thing. Don't give in to temptation. Clean your environment and your body. Stop eating foods that feed parasites. Do a serious three-month parasite cleanse. The guidelines are outlined in the Heal Yourself 101 ebook, which you can instantly download at HealYourself101.com. The healthiest way to fight parasites is with natural 